Is it a gift? I don't know. I started taking lessons, yep. I think I was six then. To be honest, like I remember him not sounding amazing right when he first started. Once he got like the, the roll pattern down and could get quick at that, he just like took off with it. And all of a sudden, boom. <laughs> I mean, I can't explain it. I think they have all the ingredients to be successful. They're achieving those dreams now. Where are they going to be in the next five years? He doesn't have to practice, which is annoying. Yeah, I guess, I guess you could say it was a little harder for my brothers to, like, try to, like, I guess, catch up with me, but... <laughs> His talent and of like raw ability kind of said to Robbie me that we have to up our game. Yeah, we're not gonna, we're not gonna yeah. let our eight-year-old brother beat us at playing instruments. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> so we we really stepped it up after that. All right. It's hard to play this type of music and fabricate it. Whereas you know pop songs, you have tons of autocorrect. You can do whatever you want on it. The only sounds you hear is just strings vibrating on wood, which is such a cool sound compared to a lot of like the newer electronic stuff you hear today. And it's really real. It's a very real type of music. I think like Americana and like roots music and that style, they have like a there's a certain complexity to it. You hardly really see an artist strip their act down and have just their instruments raw, acoustic, exposed, I guess. When our kids were old enough, we said, as part of your education, we'd like you to take an instrument. And I think you were kind of thinking piano for a while. Mm -hmm. And then we just said, let's, you know, let's let them pick. Robbie got into like the fiddling style and Tommy got into like the acoustic guitar and like you need a banjo player. We thought it was really unique and really interesting compared to what our friends were listening to. Well, when he picked up the fiddle, I was like, what, what the heck? <laughs> it's a little weird, but yeah, it took some getting used to, I guess. People are like, where are you from? And then we say New Jersey and they're like, how do kids like from New Jersey end up playing this kind of music? I introduced them to this uh, Earl Scruggs. He was the pioneer of the banjo. Earl Scrugg is more like solos and like, I'll, I'll like play something. This is, pro this is like more like what he does. I'm not a big fan when people say that banjo is just for hillbillies because uh, people just like tie it in with like old rustic stuff, but like it's a really cool instrument uh, and it can be used for all different styles and stuff. Start from the chorus end. <laughs> Try to get the O's like a little smoother. Yeah, not really like, yeah. We started off becoming like, as being perceived as kind of a novelty act. Early on it was, it was a bit of a novelty, right? Mm -hmm. There were no vocals, you know, it was all instrumental. The songs kind of ran into each other. So like, I'll play like one of my newer stuff. We have made a transition from um, all instrumental classical bluegrass to the newer music. Everyone's getting inspired by the things that they're doing and even their their songs and their music that they're writing. They love bluegrass, but they're taking that now and they're putting the Sleepy Man sound together and it's it's so authentic. It does scare me sometimes that maybe the band won't work out, maybe it won't take off like you think it will. I think it'd be cool if the band got big. It would be really cool.
what is it all about, right? Is it about famous and well-known, or is there an aspect where you're touching people's lives to it? God's given these kids a platform, and you know, what are they gonna do with it? conflicting emotions because we got to decide eventually whether we're going to go off to college, keep the band together or what. We'll leave it up to them. I'm just going to keep pushing at this and see where I go. Do you know an uncharted musician whose music deserves to be shared with the world? Email artists at who is uncharted to be considered as a featured artist in an episode of Uncharted and for an opportunity to record a track at the world-famous Village Studios in Los Angeles. Because your dreams are our dreams.